Good day to you. I'm in my car with my cigar. And it's interesting because today I wasn't going to do a video. I got enough accumulated. But I thought about you and then I got a call from my son-in-law said that he wanted to check out cigars for his first time. The cigar that I'm enjoying is an Undercrown. Undercrown is the genius creation of a mad scientist by the name of Jonathan Drew. And if you've ever had his products, this is very inexpensive. You can get them from $7.99 to about $10. I get my cigars from Hollywood Smokes in Tinley Park. But this is a good cigar. And if you're familiar with the Liga Pravada, it's interesting. They have very similar blend. Liga, of course, is a little more potent. But I'm going to do a cigar tutorial for my son-in-law who called me earlier today and said that he had a very unfortunate experience trying to understand cigars. Now, without going into the land in which, you know, I kind of stay Dominican, Nicaraguan, and what I enjoy, it's important to understand that the flavor comes from the wrapper. Whenever you're priming, cutting, or doing anything regarding your cigar, you don't want to go too deep. This is a cutter. See how I cut that off? And this is what I use to do it. You don't want to cut too deep. If you ever look at the top of your cigar, you'll see that there is a lining and what is referred to as a cap. It's a literal cap. And you should never go without. You can actually go just a little bit with your scissors or your cutter or even a knife and you can peel it off with your nails. Now that's pretty cool. The next thing you do is you take your lighter and without putting your lighter on your cigar, you want to prime that area there to give it a premier toasting. And after you toast it, well actually before you toast it you should do a pull after you do the cut. That's called the pre-taste. But you toast it and then you put it in your mouth and you do a pull push, pull push, pull push motion. And that is designed to pull the fire to it, blow the smoke out so that this entire area is lit. Observe. We did that. I got ahead of myself, of course, because I'm so, I've always enjoyed this cigar. And I forget that I'm doing a tutorial. The important thing to remember is find a cigar you like. Forget the name, forget the fact that all oh, my friend says, there are a couple of good cigars. And they're also in the Drew Estate family that I encourage people to try. That's the Cuba Cuba. The Cuba Cuba is a goodly cigar. Delicioso makes a goodly cigar. It's a sweet wrapper, and it really provides a gateway for newbies that are interested in enjoying and participating in the cigar world, but don't know how to go into it. They talk about the harsh taste. Another thing I want you to remember, you never, ever inhale the cigar smoke. That is another mistake that some people make. And this is going out to my son-in-law, Eleazar Nolan. And I'm hoping that this is going to help you in a, way that, in a way that you enjoy and participate in this new hobby. If this should be something for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Arnold Tate, Arnold Mr. Dad Tate. As part of the In My Car With My Cigar series, this is a tutorial. Make it a great day. I got a lot of stuff going on. I have four channels. I'm also writing on WordPress. So look up mrdadtate.wordpress.com. I also started a new site that has Facebook page that has all my memes 
a way for you to pick out a meme that says what it is you want to say and inspire other people. And it's also going to have my in my car videos as well as my family friend in my bar and Mr. Meditate. Make it a great day. Bye.